what's up and troubleshoot game sharing on Steam is changing forever and in this quick video I'll run through all of the major changes you'll need to take note of with the brand new Steam Families feature that was just released a few hours ago. This video should answer all of your questions and of course I would still recommend watching the official Steam channel to learn more about the feature in a quick 1 minute 40 rundown but I'll run through it here anyways. Essentially Steam Family is a brand new feature on Steam that's going to be replacing game sharing, parental controls, and child purchase requests. You and of course your family in the same house, you and your family members will take their games, pull them together, and from that pool, other members of the family can pull from it and play games surprisingly at the same time. Previously with Steam family sharing, you and a friend or you and a family member, I suppose, technically, share your library of games with each other. If you own Battlefield and your friend wants to play it, if you're playing any game in your library, the family shared games are completely locked off. It's like a library sharing feature more than a game sharing feature. This new Steam Families game sharing feature lets users pool games together and then users can pick whatever game they want to play from it in one go. And other users can also pull from the same library and play games at the same time, which is a huge positive change for Steam in general. There are, of course, some new parental controls and stuff like that. If you actually have a child that you need to look after, instead of just family sharing with a bro who's family, you can actually control their account, control what they view, and if they want to get something new, you can approve it and purchase it for them. It's all nice and streamlined. Adults in the family can invite and remove members and, of course, leave the family themselves, and children don't have any of these abilities. You can find more info here and, well, the article pushed out on the Steam events page. So that does, of course, mean that Steam family sharing is changing. You can check who you're currently sharing games with in Steam, followed by settings. And then heading down to family, we will now see a brand new create or join a Steam family button here, as well as the older Steam family sharing down here, where you can share games with up to five accounts. This isn't changing at all for now, but it is going to be depreciated and deleted over time, replaced with this new Steam families feature. So if you're sharing games, you'll need to learn about it anyways. This article will answer many of your questions, most of which surrounding how game sharing works now as it's more individual game sharing rather than library sharing. After you create a Steam family with up to five family members, you can family share games in between everyone from one major pool. So scrolling down to the very bottom, they've got some more info on how this will work with a real life example. Essentially, if your family of four members has someone who owns a copy of Portal 2 and Half-Life at any time any one member can play Portal 2 and another can play Half-Life at the same time. If two people would like to play Portal at the same time, then someone else in the family needs to purchase a new copy, and then your family pool has two copies of Portal in it, of which anyone can play at any time. If you choose not to buy a second copy, you can play any other game in your library while waiting for your family member to finish, which is fantastic. This is a huge improvement over how family sharing works currently. What games are eligible? Well, if a game was enabled to be family shared before, that's not changing at all right now. Everything's being moved across as kind of a default. I guess some games may customize things, but as long as they were family sharing before, odds are they're probably not going to change now. As far as I understand, you used to be able to assign only certain games games for friends to play, but now your entire library is automatically shared and the only way you can restrict game access is by being a parent and limit game access for that child. If someone in your family gets banned for cheating while they're playing a game, then you as the game owner will also get banned from that game, not just the family member who's playing it. So if you've got some suspicious family members or more likely suspicious friends, just be careful who you add to this, as of course, bans will be shared, as I'm pretty sure they were before anyways. You can also play games from that family library offline now, which is a fantastic addition. I'm pretty sure before you had to be online at the time in order to start playing a game, just to make sure you still have access to it. But now it's a more permanent feature if you're currently using the Steam family sharing feature, then it's recommended you create a new Steam family. Steam will automatically recommend inviting any accounts that you've previously shared with when you create it, which I'll show you in just a moment. And of course, if things go bad, you as an adult or a manager of this Steam family group can kick any other family member out of it as well. You can also exit one yourself. 
So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. In your Steam client, head across to Steam in the top left, followed by Settings, and then down to the Family tab over here. Then choose Create or Join a Steam Family, and you'll be taken across to a page that looks like this. You can either join an existing family or create a new family. I'll make a new one and call it Troubleshoots Family. We'll create this, and now we can invite members here, which when we choose this, it'll tell us who we can invite, which we previously family shared with. So from this list, I'll invite two people here, and of course, they'll be pending as soon as we do. That's it. They should get a notification in their Steam client telling them that you've added them to a Steam family and they can join it. On the library tab, you can see all the games that you're sharing with other people and of course the ones that they're sharing back to you. At the very bottom, you'll see the excluded games over here that can't be family shared. For example, Call of Duty, Armor and other stuff like that. And free games at the very bottom that everyone can have anyways. On the requests section, you'll see, I'm pretty sure, requests to join and of course requests from children to purchase games, which I'm pretty sure you'll own on your account and they'll just play off of your account off of this family sharing library pool. On the playtime tab, you can find some more info about children in your account. I don't think this will work with adults as well, so you can't track other people's playtime. And finally, on the history section, you can see exactly what's going on with your family. You, as the creator of this family, I'm pretty sure can't be kicked out of it. You can only leave. But of course, you can manage other members pretty easily just by expanding the drop down next to their name to cancel their invite, remove them from the family, etc. Managing yourself, which I'm pretty sure will look like other people, you'll be able to delete the family group entirely, as well as view your wish list and view your profile, which should be the same for other members once they accept access into this group. That's it. It's pretty simple compared to how it worked previously, where the family members or friends, I suppose, needed to log into your PC, you enable family sharing, you log back out, change accounts, blah, 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 to get it all working here, you just invite a member and you can even search your friends list if you don't see anyone immediately recommended below. That's fantastic. Huge improvements all around and this new family sharing pool is a brilliant idea. I'm stoked that Steam decided to make this change and it's really going to be a positive one, or at least I'm pretty sure. Anyways, that's it. If you'd like to hear more about this, do let me know down below. If you've got any questions, I'll probably answer them. If not, I'll make an updated video with some extra information. But for now, that's everything you need to know and more. I do hope you enjoy family sharing games with other family members and get something back from it now as it's not one person with one library it's one person playing from a pool of games my name's been troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao